Hey guys, we have a Invicta Pro Diver, model 1773. And this needs a battery change. So first things first, we'll take the band out. We'll use one of the pin removers. We'll remove the pin so we have better access to the back. And we have uh, one of these pin removers that we can use. Let me just straighten it out. I think that's gonna break, so let me use another one. Uh, I have a fresh one here. Yeah. So let's do that. It's better to remove it because it gives you better access. Pin out, stick it out. Use one of these pliers to take it out. Okay, done. Now we have more access to the back. Uh, I think it probably takes a 371 battery. You can get them online anywhere. And you can use one of these wrenches from online as well. They're easily available on uh, Amazon or eBay so as tight as possible and hold it firm and it opens up so yeah that's a 371 battery you can use any sharp tool I have a tweezer here that I'm going to use just Lift it up just a little bit, and you can just grab it, it slides right out. It's a 371, we'll just use that. This is a 371, we use Renata, that's a Swiss made battery. You don't have to do much, you can just slide that on the side, underneath a little bit, and just push it, and it sits right in there. And then you can use the back, just push it, no, don't even push it, just leave it on top, try to slide it with your thumbs first, see if that works. And as tight as possible and then use the wrench to tighten it more a lot of people think that pro divers are uh, used for diving that's not true at all because if you take it in the water or you dive with it the watch will submerge with water inside out and it will never work again because water damage on these watches you would have to change everything the face usually, when you put it, when when you when you take it in, it has any water damage. It will basically fog the glass up, and most of the glued stuff here, all these markers and these rings, they all rust. The hands will rust. They'll tarnish the the small uh, the the second hand and the minute and the hour hand too. So it's better not to use this in the like these in the water. Don't use them for diving. Don't even take them in the pool. Unless it has a screwing crown, which a lot of watches do. And this one does. But you have to make sure that the screwing crown is all the way tightened so the water doesn't get from here. And especially in the back as well. If it's not tight enough, the water seeps in from any of this area. And that will damage the watch. So all we have to do is set the right time. Screw it in as tight as possible. And when you want to change the time, you just unscrew it and it slides out. But just push it in when you're screwing it back on. It has to be tight. 
And that's it. This is the Invicta Pro Diver chronograph. It's a decent watch. It runs you anywhere between 150 to 200. Decent price watch. All right, and that's it. Thank you, folks.